Hi guys, my name is Lindsay, and I am here with my classmates Kaylee and Nikita. We are graduate students from School Psychology and Special Education Program at the University of Missouri. And today we are excited to share a powerful intervention called Repeater Reading to you guys. So first of all, what is Repeater Reading? Repeater Reading is an intervention designed to help students reading fluency. It is usually used in a one-on-one -on -one setting with one teacher and one student, but it can definitely be used in small groups or as a reading practice for the whole class. Parents can also easily implement it at home. Now you might be thinking, this is a really cool intervention, but who should we use it with? Repeat reading is especially useful for readers who can read accurately but slow. And why we should use repeat reading? Repeat reading is one of the most widely researched reading intervention and has been successfully improving reading fluency skills for students with and without disabilities. Most importantly, it is a time efficient method that takes less than 10 minutes a day. Now we finished our brief introduction of repeat reading. Let's see what materials we need for this intervention. First, we will need two copies of a story, one for the teacher and one for the student. Then we will need a timer, a blue marker, a red marker, and a progress chart for us to graph. So what should that progress chart look like? Here is a progress chart we downloaded from the Teachers Pay Teachers website for free. You can simply go to their website and search for repeater reading chart, and this will come up for you to download for free. You can also be creative and create your own chart. Basically, the essential components of the chart are a column indicating how many words the student read correctly per minute, and some code read columns and heart rate columns with a place indicating the dates. And don't worry, we will show you how to use the chart later in our demonstration videos. Now you have all the materials ready, and let's see how to implement this intervention. First, this intervention always begins with a code read. In this code read part, you will tell the student that you are going to listen to them read for one minute. Give the student his or her copy of a story, and you will have the teacher's copy of that story. Set the timer for one minute, and start timing as the student begins to read. Cross out any words read incorrectly in your teacher's copy. If the student pauses for three seconds, tell the student the word and cross it out on the teacher's copy. Tell the student to stop when one minute is up. Finally, we calculate words read correctly per minute by counting the total words read minus the errors they made. And then, let the student color their code read results onto the chart using a blue marker. The second part of this intervention, we call it the practice read, where we review the student's reading and practice the misread words with them. After that, we will need to repeat the code read steps and let the student read the same passage for at least two times. Each time is still one minute read. Then, onto the third and final part of our intervention is the hot read where we will repeat the code read steps again and let the student read that same passage for one minute. This time, we will need to calculate the words read correctly per minute as well, and then let the student color their heart rate results onto the chart using a right marker. Note that there should be an improvement in the numbers when comparing the code read and the heart read. By letting the students to color their progress will keep them more accountable, more motivated in this intervention. It also does not hurt to praise the students on how much they have improved from the cold read to the hot read. Still feel a little confused and overwhelmed? Don't worry, here are two demonstration videos created by Kaylee and Nikita to help you guys know the steps better. All right, hi Allison. So today we are going to be reading this passage, okay? And I'm going to time you for one minute, and I want you to read as many words as you can. And if you come across a word you don't know, don't worry, I'll tell you. Okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. 
begin. Albert was a goldfish in a bowl. He ate a breakfast breakfast of green and brown flakes each morning. Then he watched the k k children children go off to school. Albert uh, hated being stuck in his bowl because he could only swim around in circles. He'd rather go to school. Poor Albert c couldn't couldn't even read. All right, awesome job, Allison. So you read 51 words and you only missed three. So you got 48 correct. Great job. So do you want to fill in this chart to 48? All right, thank you. All right, and what is this word right here? Brr. That word is breakfast. Breakfast. Good job. And do you want to read it in this sentence? He ate a breakfast of green and brown flakes each morning. Awesome. And then what is this word right here? K. K. That word is children. Children. Good job. And do you want to read it in this sentence? Then he watched the children go off to school. Great job. And then what is this word right here? K that word is couldn't. Couldn't. Good job. Do you want to read it here? Poor Albert couldn't even read a book. All right. Thank you. And then what we did here was just called a cold read. And normally for this intervention, you want to have them do a few more practice reads. But for the sake of time for this video, we're just going to go straight to the hot read. All right, Allison. So I want you to read through this passage one more time, okay? And I want you to try to read more than 47 words, all right? Okay. Okay. Ready? Begin. Albert was a goldfish in a bowl. He ate a breakfast of green and brown flakes each morning. Then he watched the children go off to school. Albert hated being stuck in his bowl because he could only swim around in circles. He'd rather go to school. Poor Albert couldn't even read a book. The pages would get soaked. Albert was quite a smart fish. He could do flips under water. He could spell his name in all right, awesome job. You got 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77 words, and you didn't miss any of them. All right, do you wanna fill in this chart all the way up to 77? Thank you. And look how many more words you read than last time. Look how big of a jump that was. Great job. Thank you. Hi, Dominic. Today we're going to be reading this passage, okay? And I'm going to time you for one minute. And I want you to read as many words as you can. Okay. But I don't want you to be scared because if you don't know a word, I'll help you, okay? Okay, so I'm going to start my timer. And then you're going to read as many words as you can for me, all right? Let's go. 
the day was hot the sun sunshine sunshine was warm Ava mother mother warmed filled filled the boiling pool the mm. apple now may may I get in Ava's pool asked asked good Thank job you. you know how many words you got right okay so you read 20 words I, 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 I did these words yeah too. and this was she didn't yeah. say that. you read 20 words and you got you got 16 right okay so let's fill in 16 it's okay it's okay we'll get more so i want you to fill in 16 right here i want you to color in the line right here so you color it like okay this. so now we're going to do the hot read the a day was hot the sun uh, sunshine sunshine was warm Ava mama mother mother of uh, Phil Phil the waiting pool mm. ah, well, now may may I get in a cell asked asked what is this word asked. she jumped into she do you know how job. many words you got right you read you read 23 no, I do this. hold on you read 23 words and you got you got 20 right okay so let's color in 20 in the hot Red? you can color in 20 yeah from here downward good job well, dominic i thought you, you increased to color, color, color all the way up there you increased you increased your words by five you're That's done let's so